Okay, class, let's continue our uh, discussion on the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. So today, we are going to uh, solve the third example. Okay, I'll show you the solution to our example number three. Alright, so in example number three, we're given function of x equal to inverse cotangent of 5x multiplied by inverse secant of x squared. Okay, so let's check the given. Function of x equal to inverse cotangent of 5x times secant or inverse secant of x squared. Alright, and we are required to, to solve for the derivative. So, h prime of x. So, what is the derivative of this product of the two inverse functions? Okay, so for our solution, first we need to identify what formula that we're going to use in this uh, given if you look at the given class so this is in in the product form right we have one function here one inverse function multiplied by another inverse function so we will apply the product rule all right so in our product rule we have this um, formula that if you have derivative of the product of u and v with respect to x so this is equivalent to okay so the first part the first factor u times the derivative of v with respect to x then plus v times the derivative of u with respect to x Alright, so that, that's the first formula that we're going to use. Now we have inverse cotangent and also inverse secant. So we also have the formula for the inverse uh, trigonomet trigonometric functions, the derivative of those like for the cotangent so derivative of inverse cotangent of u with respect to x so this is equal to minus okay so careful on the sign huh? don't forget it so minus 1 divided by 1 plus u squared then times the derivative of u with respect to x okay and the other formula is for secant inverse secant derivative of inverse secant u with respect to x is equal to 1 divided by 1 divided by u times the square root of u squared minus 1 and times the derivative of 
u with respect to x. Okay, so we will use these uh, three formulas in finding the derivative of this given inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, so applying the formula. So we have h prime of x is equal to uh, let's apply first the product rule so in this case class this is our u okay and this part here is our v all right so we have u times derivative of v with respect to x so let, let us write it first that way so we have cotangent or inverse cotangent of 5x so this is our u then times the derivative of v so our v is inverse second of x squared right so this is our v with respect to x then plus okay, I'll just uh, write it down here plus uh, v no our v is inverse secant of x squared then times the derivative of u our u is uh, inverse cotangent inverse cotangent of 5x with respect to x okay so this is equal to just copy the first part inverse cotangent of 5x and derivative so this time let's apply this formula no, for this part here so for this part let's use this formula so times derivative of this is simply 1 over u times 1 over u times square root of u squared minus 1 so here let's uh, identify what is our u All right so in this given uh, this is our u okay so times 1 over u 1 over u or u is x squared then multiplied by the square root of u again our u is x squared but that is u squared so you still have to square this one then minus 1 okay then times the derivative of we have derivative of u with respect to x so our u is x squared so derivative of x squared with respect to x all right so we're still in this part here class the first part now we have plus okay so for this part here so just copy this one we have inverse secant of x squared then times so derivative of inverse cotangent okay so inverse cotangent so we will use this formula so here let's uh, identify what is our u okay so our u here is this one this is our u the 5x so the formula says that it is uh, negative 1 over no? negative 1 over so we have to multiply this by negative so negative 1 over u ah sorry 1 plus u squared so 1 plus u squared our u is 5x so 5x squared okay 
10 times derivative of u. So derivative of u or u is 5x. So derivative of 5x with respect to x. Okay, are you following? Right, so let's evaluate further. So we have inverse cotangent of 5x times we have 1 divided by x squared times the square root of x squared squared so that is x to the power 4 minus 1 then times derivative of x squared so power formula so that is 2x then plus we have uh, inverse secant x squared then times the negative of 1 over 1 plus 5x squared times derivative of 5x that is 5 okay so we have 2x times 1 times this so this will be our numerator then you have this denominator so we have 2x times inverse cotangent of 5x divided by x squared times the square root of x to the power 4 minus 1 then plus so this is plus minus so the product of these two different signs that would be negative so this would be negative then we have 5 times 1 times this one so we have 5 uh, times inverse secant of x squared divided by 1 plus 5x squared okay so this is our h prime of x Alright, so do you have any questions? So let us review our work class if we miss something. Oh, this is uh, very complex already, so we need to double check. Okay, so let us double check our result. Okay, so we have here, okay, so using the, this formula, so, okay, u dv plus v du so u you just copy the given and times for secant of the formula is 1 over u so, so u is x squared so x squared then x squared squared minus 1 times derivative of u or u is x squared so okay then plus we have v or v is this one so secant inverse secant x squared times the derivative of u which is cotangent so cotangent derivative inverse cotangent it is negative so this is negative 1 over 1 plus u squared our u here is 5x so and times derivative of 5x derivative of u okay so it's correct so the next line all right so derivative of this is 2x derivative of this is 5 all right so just you write it so multiply this 2x times 1 times inverse cotangent of 5x so we have 2x times cotangent inverse i'm oh, sorry 2x times inverse cotangent of 5x then divided by this is the denominator then this is minus oh, sorry this plus this minus so product of this is minus so we have 5 
times this one times one times this so five times inverse second of x squared divided by this is the denominator okay so it's correct so this is our answer okay so i hope you were able to follow this one class and try to solve the other exercises so we have example number four uh, i want you to solve this by yourselves and uh, to check this so perhaps in our quiz huh? we'll check it during our quiz time so we are given here a function of x equal to inverse sine of the square root of 3x plus 5 okay so try to practice this one class if I still have uh, much time then perhaps I could uh, make another video for, for this one and you have um, I think item number five if you look at the previous video try to solve this or that problem also okay so thank you very much that that's all for this uh, video if you have any question you just uh, send your message in our GC okay all right see you again next time class Bye for now.